closing doors, please. Gwendolyn Black, and I was born and raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. When did you move uh, to, to Harlem? I came to Harlem in 1993, uh, back to Harlem, actually. Uh, when I graduated from the Fashion Institute of Technology, FIT, um, I lived for a brief uh, time here in Harlem, and I moved to Brooklyn, and I moved back, because the pulse of Harlem is the history and the legends and the culture and uh, growing up as a young girl in Pittsburgh, it was just attracted me. I wanted to come to Harlem because it was the artist that was celebrating our culture and, 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 and the history of our people and I just felt I had to be here in New York. And so I've been here since 1982. Well, there's a lot of differences. Uh, when I first moved back to Harlem in 93, uh, you saw more dilapidation. Uh, the community was uh, struggling to rebound uh, from various uh, economic downfalls. Uh, so it was a bit frightening. And then once I moved back to Harlem, I told a lot of friends, move back to Harlem. Uh, Harlem is going to be the place. And uh, unfortunately, some people just didn't see the vision. And so when I first came, it was, a bit, it was a bit scary. It was a bit scary. But I had a purpose. And the purpose was to share my art and to really advocate for the art. Uh, so as a visual artist, that's what I did. I made sure that we were able to uh, exhibit our artwork, which was not really happening before. Um, and I made sure I connected with a lot of the painters and the, and the uh, photographers and made sure we were showing our work and really was showcasing what Harlem was about, and that was black culture. What does art mean to you? Art for me, uh, as an artist, one, is that I can share our stories, our history, our legacy, and really be a uh, guide for where we need to go in the future. Because our stories, whether they're stories of joy, whether they're stories of sadness, whether they're stories of desperation, it is a guide for us. So when I, I create a piece of art, which I do a lot of representation of art, as you see in this piece here, because we need to know who our leaders were, our cultural icons, who they were. And the only way to remember their stories is the writing, of course, but you got to see the paintings, you have to see the illustrations, you have to see the photographs. So art is a bridge between many, many, many cultures because we get to understand one another in the pulse of our culture. But for African Americans, it's, it's a lot deeper because we have a history in this country that was good and bad. And so the stories from Langston Hughes and Zora Neale Hurston and Duke Ellington, the music, and contemporary artists today like myself, Sada Kisha Collier and um, Michael Chamblay, they're continuing to tell the stories that needs to be shared long after we're gone from this place. Let's go all day with the rock. Can you talk to us a little bit about it? What's going on here? Well, growing up as a teenager, I was a basketball junkie. I, I have to admit, I, I, I was in love with basketball. I, I often watched the games on television. I knew the um, some of the legends and Connie Hawkins. Uh, um, Jam um, Jamal Wills. They were so, they were important in basketball players. But also growing up, Nate Tiny Archibald was someone I always remembered. I remember seeing him playing on television. So when I had the opportunity to create a piece of art, I said, wow, I got it. 
create this piece dedicated to Nate Tiny Archibald because he was a phenomenal in basketball. I remember him playing for the Celtics. You know, this is when I was a teen. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna tell my age, but <laughs> that was many years ago. But it, it still resonated with me. And here I had a blank piece of canvas, blank piece of wood, and I said, you know what? That has to be Nate Tiny Archibald on that piece. So this piece is uh, it's, it's, it's really uh, a mixed media piece. Some of my pieces are totally tissue paper, but this piece is mixed with acrylic, tissue paper, and Luma watercolor. So, it took me a couple weeks to finish it because I, I created it and I had to come back because you look at it and all the colors will start to come out and and just the, 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 the you know what you're trying to speak about uh, finally uh, was coming out in the piece. But I, I appreciate Kevin Durant and uh, so many of those young brothers who are are, are keeping basketball. Um, alive in terms of entertainment and skill and talent, but I, I, I hope New York will come back because it's, it's really kind of been up and down, up and down. So we'll see what happens. Thank you so much. That was great.